Hey everybody, this is Nicole Santos for 49N Market, and today I'm going to be bringing you this layout right here, and it is created with the countryside, um, the Vintage Artistry Countryside Collection using this paper, which is the Radiance, the Laser Cut Wild Flowers, the Ephemera Bits, the repositionable fabric tape, the four inch washi chicken wire, the ticket essentials in pewter, the handmade paper flowers, sunflowers in amber. And so let's get started. This is the Radiance page from the um, Vintage Artistry Countryside Collection. And I am going to take off that branding strip and I'm actually going to use the branding strip as well on this project. So the first thing I do is cut off these little bees and then I'm going to fussy cut them. And then I'm actually going to use that strip on my page. Um, this page features an L-shaped design and I would use that primarily because I had one vertical picture and one horizontal picture so it works perfectly with an l-shaped design and then in the um, corner i just put my title and um, that's how i came up with my design so i grab some of this uh, black soot distress oxide and i'm using a brush to just go ahead and distress the edges and then i distress them with my distressing tool from close to my heart as well and here I'm going to bring out some of the uh, repositionable fabric tape, also from the Countryside Collection. And the, here's where I'm going to go ahead and make my L shape. Now I had this little teeny tiny piece of this black chicken wire fabric. I don't know if that was a manufacturing defect and I just got something that wasn't supposed to be or if it was supposed to be included in there anyways i used it um, if it's in there i'm gonna use it so i did use it um and then i used uh the yellow tape and of course the big chicken wire tape now i'm using that washi tape and just um uh, tearing off a couple pieces at a time to make this vertical strip right here looks pretty perfect to me so again i'm using the branding strip and now i'm going to use these essential um, ticket essentials in pewter to go ahead and do the last of my l shape here Now I am using some Essential Text Blends Rub-On Transfers in Pewter. I forgot to include that in the first part of my video, but I'm also using those here as well. And as you can see, that's where my pictures are going to go. So I'm just going to start um, using some of these little text splats and little ink splats and just rub them on in various locations throughout my page, but just around the pictures.
so now I'm going to come in with the um, countryside ephemera bits, as you can see here. And I am just going to start to sort those into all kinds of different little piles, like all my frames with the frames, all of my big, um, my big stuff over here in the right, uh, all the circles together, all the little tags together. Um, but as you can, you can see them as I'm going through what they are. Um, I know I go kind of quickly here, but I'm just, I just needed to sort them so that I could see what was everything was. And then I grab what I think that I'm going to use on this layout. So now here I am grabbing what I picked out from the ephemera bits and I am auditioning pieces. That's where I take little pieces and put them around just, just putting them, just placing them to see if they look okay. And once I find where I'm going to put them, then I do go ahead and glue them down. Um, right now I'm putting some twine in that tag and i bring in some of the sunflowers in amber and um, i went through some of the laser cuts and um, just popped them out and then so now i'm gonna grab a couple flowers from there and a couple little leaf sprigs from there as well to add some interest at first i didn't plan on adding green to this um, layout but I did decide to do that in the end so here I'm coming in with um, the one sunflower that I decided to use and my title which is we belong here and this these pictures are from um, a rental house in northern Arizona when we went up to just just because just to get away um, a couple of nights and it's me and my mom and my girls, and um, we were at this house, the, the inn, and um, my mom decided she needed two cups of coffee since my daughter decided she didn't want to drink one. And one's a picture of her with her two cups of coffee, and the other one is us playing Uno, I believe. So um, we did have some fun there. And I'm pretty much done with all of my um oh i went ahead and glued everything down off camera and i'm adding my journaling now so um the my pen did not work very well on the um the rub-ons so you'll see me come in with a sharpie which in winds up being a mistake in my opinion um because it's really bold it's like somebody hit the bold text while doing it and i mean it's done it's a, li a little mistake and it's okay i'm fine with it um so then i do the edges with my distress oxide and that's it so let me leave you with some pictures you'll find links to all the products below in the description um I hope you like this. Please give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks.